who is ag peri wale how is it related to the assassination of former prime minister rajiv gandhi's case the case took a big turn in 2013 what happened then and in what context he is being released after 31 years to know this we have to go back to 1991 in may 1991 former prime minister rajiv gandhi was assassinated in tamil nadu sri perambedur during a rally a woman named danu triggered a belt bomb which killed 16 others as well At that time Perari Varun was a 19 year old teenager who was arrested after 2 months of the assassination. It was claimed that he was the one who bought two 9 volt batteries used in the bomb belt and handed over them to LTTE chief Sivarasan. Sivarasan is said to be the mastermind of the operation. In the year 1998 a trial court gave death sentence to Perari Varun and 25 others for their involvement in the case. Later the Supreme Court freed 19 others and sustained death sentences to seven of them who were Murugan, Santan, Perariwalan, Nalini, Robert Pires, Jay Kumar and Ravi Chandra. In 2013 the case took a big turn when V Tyagarajan a CB officer said that he altered Perariwalan's confession during investigation. He has told the documentary filmmakers of People's Movement Against Death Penalty that He did not record the exact words of Perry Rivalan during the investigation. Perry Rivalan has told him that he did not know why they asked him to buy the battery. He said that he did not record this statement of Perry Rivalan and also said that in practice they don't record every statement said by the accused. In 2014, Supreme Court reduced Perry Rivalan's and two other convicts death sentence to life imprisonment on account of their mercy petitions. In 2017, Tyagarajan submitted an affidavit in the Supreme Court saying that Perry Rivalan was in the dark on why the batteries were purchased. In the year 2018, the Tamil Nadu cabinet recommends the release of all seven convicts of Rajiv Gandhi assassination case under Article 161, which allows the governor to release or reduce sentences. But the central government argued not to release the convicts. saying that if the court decided to release them then that would set a dangerous example and will have international ramifications the center said the governor of the state could take a decision on the plea perry valens mother atpuda mammal became the face of the anti death penalty movement she was constantly meeting chief ministers and writing pleas to them for the release of her son Since the governor did not take a decision for close to 3 years the supreme court granted bail to Perry Rivalan on 9th March this year on May 18 2022 the supreme court ordered the release of Perry Rivalan 31 years after he was arrested The supreme court said that the state cabinet has taken its decision based on relevant considerations in excess of article 142 it is appropriate to release the convict The court also questioned center's delay in the matter and also the governor's action.